All right, what's up, fellas? So uh, I'm coming at you with another practicality uh, test video. This time it's on the Cold Steel Training Bow Staff. Um, obviously, you've seen me uh, walk with this puppy, and uh, you know, like I said, it's uh, it's a little limited in terms of versatility as a walking aid. It's good for natural terrain. But in terms of gravel and concrete, uh, not so much so simply because, uh, well, hold on, let me see if I could show you like the aftermath real quick. See, uh, polypropylene is indestructible, but uh, it is susceptible to cosmetic damage. Um, so obviously the second part delves into the question uh, of is this practical as a self-defense weapon? Well, it really just depends on the person wielding it, what their, uh, what their efficiency with, uh, with short staffs is, as well as the situation uh, that they may have to use it in if need be. So right off the bat, hold on a second. I'm going to have to disappear off camera for just a second. So right off the bat, it has the same issue as the uh, Cold Steel 10 Shin. If you are attacked with somebody that has an impact weapon of their own, you know, the stick is smooth. If either of you moves the wrong way, uh, either he's going to hit your hand with his weapon, or uh, you could actually move down and hit his hand. It's, I guess it's a, a right down the middle kind of a thing. Uh, in addition to this, um, if you are going up against somebody who has an impact weapon of their own, um, you know, if it's a, uh, this is a little sturdier than the 10 shin, it's a little wider in diameter, but if the person has something, say, made out of a steel, a pipe, uh, a bat, be it made out of wood or, uh, aluminum, you know, there is a good chance that if that person has the upper body strength and he hits you hard enough, he could actually break the stick. Um, so that's impact weapons. If you're going up against somebody who, say, might have a, a blade, a knife, something like that, you could use this to keep them at bay, to keep some distance between you guys. Um, you know, I guess uh, impact weapons, one of the advantages of these is that they have a... You know, obviously they're longer, so they could put more distance between you and your attacker. Um, you know, plus they require force. You know, uh, edge weapons are very different. They're they're touch weapons. You don't need, you don't really need to try that hard to, uh, you know, to cut someone with an edged weapon. You know, with these babies, you actually have to, uh, you have to to use a little bit of force and might to uh, to use these properly. So all in all, um, you know, I guess I'd give it like maybe a three out of four stars as a self-defense weapon. The fact of the matter is that this is actually uh, meant to be for training. Um, you know, uh, I, I'm, I couldn't really tell you definitively if this is actually used for self. This could be used for self-defense. I mean, in theory, it could, but. You know, I'm not a martial arts expert, and I don't know uh, what uh, you, the viewer, uh, are versed in. But I can say also, in terms of practicality, it's a little uh, it's a little wider. I really do wish that Cold Steel would make a six foot bow staff with the circumference of, say, the Cold Steel Escrima stick. But this is a this is a lot wider. I think I'm guessing maybe it's a like an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter, somewhere around there at the top. Towards the bottom, it probably gets to like around an inch and a half. It, it tapers. Um, it's uh, it's a lot heavier too. I I real I had I guess I thought well since it's a shorter staff, it's going to be a lot lighter and wieldy. Not so much the case. And of course, if it's heavier, it's you're not going to be able to wield it as uh, as quickly as say uh, say a stick that's uh, a lot lighter. You know, waxwood stuff like that. Um, obviously in a confrontation, you want to be quick, especially if the other person might have, uh, 
might have a, a, a weapon that might be lighter. You know, if you're, uh, you know, if it's heavier, you're not going to be as quick in, uh, in defending uh, yourself, uh, blocking off, blocking his attacks, things like that. So it, it really has, uh, it really has a lot more drawbacks than it does advantages. And as a result, I mean, like I said, I'll, I'll give it two out of four stars. You know, it's, uh, it's tough. Um, it is tough. It can put distance between you and someone who might have a shorter weapon, uh, you know, stuff like that. But at the same time, like I said, it's uh, it's design uh, makes uh, blocking and pairing a little bit risky because remember the smoothness and somebody could easily, you know, hit your hand. Um, and of course, it's a little heavy and it's a little bulky to hold. So uh, all in all. I would recommend this for hiking trails and maybe defending yourself against a, a shorter person with a knife as opposed to uh, someone with a uh, an impact weapon or a tall person. It's not, uh, you know, if you're shorter, this is, this might not put as much distance between you and them. You know, I mean, if they're taller, they're going to have longer arms. Uh, you know, I, I think the only things that this might really be good for are uh, hiking trails and... I, I, as much as I hate to say it, in terms of self-defense, I don't know, maybe if you get attacked by a dog or a possum or, you know, some angry animal or something like that, okay. But uh, in terms of a person who might have a weapon of their own, I, I'm i sorry, but I, I couldn't recommend it for that, you know, unless it's a small weapon, like I said. Unless the guy's short, unless he's got like a little tiny pocket knife, something like that, I absolutely uh, couldn't wholly uh, recommend this for self-defense. So, um... I guess that's all I really have to say about that. Peace out, fellas.